Happy St. Paddy's Day, everyone, and welcome back to G-Man Movie Reviews. Hope everyone's had a good St. Paddy's Day and went out partying, drinking, hanging with friends, all the stuff that I didn't do while I was out seeing the brand new Jason Bateman movie, Bad Words. Now, Bad Words is has actually has, hasn't been that heavily marketed. Uh, it's in limited release right now. It's expanding on March 28th. I know to more theaters in the U.S. and I think in international markets as well. The synopsis, if you've seen the trailer, you know it. A 40-year-old guy played by Jason Bateman uh, finds a loophole in the National Spelling Bee and he enters the tournament and competes against all these little kids and basically outrage erupts. He's a raunchy, vulgar, filthy adult and plays out like a comedy in that sense. And if it sounds familiar to Bad Santa, it very much is so. If you enjoyed a movie like Bad Santa, I think you'll definitely enjoy Bad Words. And now, like I said, this movie stars Jason Bateman. It also stars Allison Janney. You might have seen her in uh, The West Wing. It also stars a new little kid, Rohan Chand, who was absolutely fantastic in this movie. And once again, it was directed by Jason Bateman. Now, the cons real quick, I mean, it's a simple con and to be expected with uh, this kind of comedy. There's nothing that phenomenal or um, amazing about the script of this. I mean, but you're not expecting 12 Years a Slave. You're not expecting Inception going to this. You want to laugh. So, you know, and I wanted to laugh when I watched this. So in terms of the pros, I laughed a ton during this movie. I thought this movie was hilarious. Uh, what's sort of, what works sort of great is that for a movie surrounding spelling and vocabulary and bad words, the dialogue and word choice was absolutely fantastic and really added to the humor a lot in this movie. Uh, a lot of times lines are delivered in unpredictable ways and said by unpredictable people, and it just really makes for an overall funny movie. And like I said before, it's similar to like a, a bad Santa where you've got Billy Bob Thornton playing Santa Claus, saying all these vulgar words around kids and parents, and it just kind of gives you the shock value. This is similar in that sense. Also, the kid, like I mentioned before, Rohan Chand, this kid's amazing. He does a great job with his timing and line delivery and just overall cuteness, if you will, in terms of what the audience is going to think of him. And I think, in general, everyone's going to really like this kid in the way that he portrayed his performance. So, overall, I thought Bad Words was a really good time, and I would highly recommend checking it out if you're into these kind of like vulgar, R-rated comedies, you know, with like that shock value type of humor. So I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. I thought it was very entertaining and definitely recommend checking it out if it's in a theater near you or if it's expanding soon, check it out then. So thanks everyone again for watching G-Man Movie Reviews. As always, please subscribe to my channel to see more reviews if you enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed this video also, give it a thumbs up below. It helps increase the viewership and popularity of my videos, and I'll keep coming back to do more. Also, comment below if you saw Bad Words. Let me know what you thought of it. If you've seen the trailer, let me know what you thought of the trailer, and maybe if there was a favorite joke in there. So until next time, I'm G-Man Movie Reviews. Happy St. Patrick's Day, and take care.